First John chapter number 2. I read from verse 3 to 6. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is what? A liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Now look at verse 6. He that saith, he abided in him. Do the word, ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. I like that statement. He said, he that saith, he abided in him. If you are saying that you are in Christ, you are the person that is saying it all. If you are saying that you are a Christian, if you are saying that you belong to him, look at your work. He said, you ought to walk the way he walked. You know the meaning? You know the meaning? You know the meaning? You've got to live your life the way he will live his life if he finds himself in your shoes. Look at the meaning. If I look at us now, I can look at you from many, 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 many angles. Some people here, I can see them from an angle of being fathers and mothers. Oh, let me use myself. As you see me, you can see me from many angles. First of all, you've got to see me as somebody's son. Because somebody gave birth to me. You've got to see me also as somebody's brother. Because I am somebody's brother. Now you've got to see me also as somebody's husband. Because I am somebody's husband. You've got to see me also as somebody's father. Because I am a father to somebody. You've got to see me also as somebody's pastor. Because I am a pastor to a congregation. You've got to see me also as a pastor to some pastors. That's my position. I have the position of being a pastor to some people. But I have the position of being a pastor to some pastors. I pastor pastors. Are you getting me? These are different positions. Am I right? Now, the truth of the matter is now. In these positions, put Jesus in them. Now, for example, as somebody's husband. Put Jesus as a husband to somebody. Now, ask yourself the question. How will Jesus be marrying his wife? Find out. If you find out how Jesus will be marrying his wife, do what? Go and marry your wife the way Jesus will marry his wife. Let's assume that Jesus is a woman and he is a wife to somebody. How will Jesus be relating with her husband? Will he be shouting at her husband? Will the husband speak one? Jesus will speak ten. Will Jesus be submissive to his husband or will Jesus be challenging the authority of her husband? Find out how Jesus will be marrying her husband. Now, if Jesus be a master having servants, how will Jesus be treating his servants? Now, if Jesus be a servant, how will Jesus be serving his master? If Jesus be a madam, how will he be treating the maids under him? Under her. And then if Jesus be a maid, how will she be relating with her madam? Can you see? Now, if Jesus be a pastor, pastoring a congregation, how will Jesus be relating with them? What kind of relationship will be between Jesus and his congregation? Now, if Jesus be a pastor to some pastors, how will Jesus be pastoring those pastors? With which mind? How will he be treating them? How will he be relating with them? These are the things you will find out 
And then when you find out you do what? You go and do it. That's Christianity. Praise the Lord. But this cannot be until somebody say, I will not remain a babe anymore. This is the life of the matured, not the life of the babes. He that saith, he abided in him, ought to walk the way he did what? He walked. Now, you need to learn, I've said it here before, how to live one day at a time. Today is today. Forget about tomorrow. Tomorrow may never be. But today, you make up your mind today, I must live right. Today, I must do things the way Jesus will do it if Jesus is here. Anything that comes up today in the place of business today, I must make sure that I go the way Jesus will go if Jesus was in that business. Then, when I return back, as I am in the bus stop, if anything happens at the bus stop, I must behave the way Jesus would have behaved if Jesus is the person at this bus stop. When I enter into the bus and something happened, maybe somebody matched me or stepped on me or poured oil on my cloth. Maybe the person is carrying food, is going to sell somewhere, and then the soup poured on my cloth. I will behave the way Jesus would have behaved if Jesus happens to be the person that this soup was poured on. And then, when I come back home, and I reach home, and then my children misbehave, I will behave the way Jesus will behave to his children, if they misbehave. And then when I come back, and then because there was no sales in the market today, I tried and tried. You know some people, when they go to the market and there is no sales, when they come back, they come back offended, and they are bad, feeling bad in their heart. And then if their wife says something, or their children, they will shout. That is transfer of aggression. Is it your wife that made business not to move? Is it your children that make customers not to come? Did they bewitch your customers? Now, but you see the person carrying anger from the place of business and returning. And because there was no sell. Any little thing you say that the anger had Now, the person that is matured, when he comes back, and then there was no sales, and then the wife is there, and then they say something, he will, you know when he come back and the wife is the darling, please can you give us 250 naira? Let's go and buy one pent of God. He said, China can walk for with that 250 naira. Yes, because he was feeling so bad. Is it the woman that made you not to sell? What you do is you behave like Jesus and say, honey, I wish that I can give you 250, but I can't. No sales today. Just from a Yanoba, I even trekked home. <laughs> so please, if you have any money somewhere, I'll take it, go and buy Gary for tonight. Gently, quietly. Is it not better? Yeah. That is a Christian. Not our form of woogie. Find out how Jesus will do it. In any situation, from beginning of today till the end of the day. Do it and sleep. Today has ended. Tomorrow, you start again. You know what the Bible said? It is of the lost mercies that we are not consumed. For his compassion faileth not. They are what? New every morning. Wait. What is new every morning? His mercy and his compassion. So, in the morning, you ask for his grace and his mercy again, saying... Today, Lord, I want to live like Jesus lived. And then from the morning again, you continue this way. If anything happens, don't be fast. Some people, their problem is that their mouth is faster than their brain. They will talk before they think. And then they will say what they shouldn't have said in the first place. And then you know words. They don't have reverse gear. Did you hear what I say? You see this motto? If you are going front and then you decide to go back, you can put it on reverse. Am I right? You go back. Words don't have reverse gear. The moment you voice it out, it cannot return. If it is a bad word, it has gone out. But let me tell you, you may let oh, I am sorry, I didn't mean it. But my people used to say that when the mouth that spoke for God, the ear that had will never forget. So it's better that you didn't speak it than that you spoke it. 
and later on he began to look for how to amend it. Learn how to live like Jesus every day. And that is by calling on these virtues, the qualities he is made up of. And then on daily basis, 